This is a lateral skull radiograph. Here is the inner table, here is the diploic space, and here is the outer table of the skull vault. This is depicted in this diagram. So here's the outer table, here's the diploic space, and here's the inner table. And the key thing to note here is that on the diploic side of the inner table, the border is convex, and on the diploic side of the outer table, the border here is concave. This is again depicted in this skull radiograph where there is a depressed skull fracture. The skull vault is perpendicular to the beam until you get a depressed skull fracture and the inner and outer table are then tangential to the beam just as they are here. There's the inner table and there's the outer table. This is a patient who has thalassemia. Here is the inner table which is very clear and well demarcated. This is the diploic space which is grossly expanded and the, inner, uh, the outer table is thinned such that you can't see it very well. Note that the inner table and outer table are well seen at the occiput and this is because there's a relative paucity of bone marrow in this region. So the typical hair on end appearance, you can see the inner table nice and sharp. Here's the hair on end appearance, which is expansion of the diploic space. And the outer table is thinned, such that you can't see it very well. This is a typical patient with intramedullary hematopoiesis, giving the so-called hair on end appearance in a case of thalassemia. If you've ever wondered why the outer table thins but the inner table does not, this is my theory. In the diploic space you get an expansile force and the expansion is in all directions. So along the outer table you've got a force which is acting on the concavity and on the inner table you have a force that's acting on the convexity. Imagine the inner and outer tables are composed of bricks of bone molecules, or bone bricks. Because you have a tensile force, the bone bricks tend to move away from each other because it's along the concavity. Whereas the inner table, because the convexity is towards the diploic space, the expansile force promotes these bone bricks getting closer together and therefore strengthens the inner table a bit like um, an arch of a bridge. And so over time, the expansile force causes the bone molecules or bone bricks to move away from each other in the outer table, thereby causing thinning, and the inner table remains intact, just as you can see on this lateral skull radiograph. This is a case of thalassemia which when translated from the Greek literally means anemia by the sea. Note also that there is extra medullary hematopoiesis manifesting as increased opacification of the maxillary sinuses.